guys, make sure you get your absolute video C builds done up, your YouTube C builds, because holy mother duck, I've got an absolute banger for you guys today. We are legitimately cracking open, if this is going to focus on it, a old school, like this thing is from back in the day, an old star power box. And what this is, it contains one deck, as you can see there, five boost packs, one original play pack, and one online code, and two coins. Don't really care about the code card or the coins too much. I'm more interested in these two boosters right here. Literally not even in print anymore because they're so rare. Literally, this is the most popular set Pokemon ever made. They had to stop doing it. And uh, boxes of this are actually skyrocketing on eBay. So when I saw that this contained not one, but two packs of legendary treasures, I thought, you know what? Let's crack it open. Plus, it's such like a weird box. I mean, what the flip? There's a deck in here, there's a pop series boost pack, then there's like five regular ones, two of them are like legendary treasures, and then what the- there's just like a random code or something. I mean, uh, what is the code for? Night- Night's Fall? It's like some promo thing. It's the most random third party box I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, so uh, yeah. I thought let's crack it open for a good old Unlisted Leaf video. Hopefully you guys are having fun. If you are, absolutely demolish the like button if you want to see more of these random openings. I'm loving these power boxes though. Like, I just something about them. are just like the most fun things in the entire world for me to crack open. But could you... I honestly would probably die. Could you imagine... Oh, there's a lot of tape involved here. If we go and pull... Oh, none other. It's really deep too, isn't it? Uh, oh, they're stuck. They're, oh, I hate when they use the glue. Like, they got glue right here. So you got to peel it off. Oh, Legendary Treasures. Boys, I haven't seen that in a while. But yeah, could you imagine? Somehow we pull a freaking gold card. I couldn't either. That's like a bit of weird white plastic. Um, oh, they, why are they using so much glue? There's more glue than like a Nike here assembly table. And like, there's a fair bit there. So I guess that's the code for something random. If you use it, let me know in the comment section below um, what you got, because I don't know. And then we got two coins right there, which are just stuck to the code card. Yep, honestly, it's just too much glue for me. Then we've got a Meowstic, a uh, Flashfire Meowstic theme deck. We've actually already unboxed this on the channel. So I'm going to link a couple of uh, theme decks down below that you can check out the unboxing of. I won't unbox this one, just because I think I'm going to keep it sealed to the collection. I mean, you guys get the picture. There's nothing too crazy in there. That's probably the best card. Oh, dear. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Stock standard, Meowstic theme deck. Nothing too crazy. I know a lot of you guys are 50-50 on the theme deck unboxing. So, if you're keen to check it out. Oh, look at that. Wolverine and uh, Frofer. Mystic Typhlosion. Anyway, that's the theme deck. Gonna keep it sealed for my collection. But, let's go. We got uh, two X and Y base set boosters. Then we got two Legendary Treasure boosters. Furious Fist and a Series 9 Pop Series uh, booster. And I'll open the Pop Series first just because I know a lot of people are curious about this set all the time. Um, and it's probably the most ripped off set on eBay. So one of these boosters can go up for like $10. And I don't know what you think an Endo. That's a bargain. Look, look at what you get inside of it. This is Series 9. So that it goes all the way up to I think Series 12. But look at this. This is all you get inside of it. I, I mean... It's from its own set, it's like its own thing, but you literally only get three regular common, and if you're really lucky, you get a holo or something, um, boosters. And that is an entire freaking thing, and people charge so much money for different pop series. I mean, just because it's a bit of like a subset that's like put on the side, it's so random. I, I don't even know. It's kind of equivalent to the Dollar Tree boosters right now. Pokemon Organized Play. Two promo cards and one energy. I mean, that's disgusting. That, I, <laughs> I don't know. It's a cool concept, but for how much people are charging on eBay, it's like it's insane. It's ridiculous. Um, but nevertheless, there you go. A Series 9 Pop Series opening. What a random way to start this thing off. Anyway, let's keep going with the Furious Fist. Now, what we need to happen here is literally nothing. If I can go and pull a regular rare on this one right here, I'd be happy boy. So we've got Fossil Researcher, a Patarat, an Eevee. Skulderpy, Cubchu, Slackoth, Reverse Noivern, and then a Hollow Marchamp. That's not too bad. Hollow Marchamp is uh, probably one of the better ones we could probably pull. I am pulling a whole bunch of these when we open up the booster box. There's a, there's a lot of different like random cards in this set. But, let's keep going with the X and Ys. We also need nothing of the X and Ys. So hopefully maybe just another Hollow card, or maybe even just a regular rare. That'd be cool as well. There's the code card. We'll go three from the back. Base at X and Y again. Doesn't contain too much crazy. 
I think maybe a full-up Venusaur or something like that. We've got a Spoink, Ride, we've got a Fletchling, Evolution, Red Ball, Reverse, and the Conclador, Regular Rare. This is good. It's all good. Don't worry. Alright. Another X and Y base set. This is chill. This is all good. Hopefully nothing again. Because all we're going for is trying to get the gold card out of Legendary Treasures. Because Legendary Treasures is a set that you guys will not stop hounding me to open ever since we pulled the gold card out of it. So we got Red Ball, Dodo Duo, Slugma, Fire Type Energy, a Froki, Skitty, Reverse Pony Ride, and that's good! A regular holo Talon Flame. He just blew up the Titanic with uh, one of his epic poos. He's like, <laughs> basically, that's what happened. But uh, yeah, okay, so we got the holo Talon Flame. This is cool. March Emma Talon Flame holo. We got a sealed theme deck. I'm thinking it's worth it. But what would make it really, really epic and totally like the best box ever is out of these absolutely rare, amazing, old school legendary treasures boosters, we could somehow pull a gold card. And if a gold card's asking too much, if we could somehow pull... Oh! These are just like memory central. So if we can't pull the gold card, all I get it... Is it three or two? I'm gonna go three. I think it's three, I think it's three, I think it's three. Yep, okay. But yeah, if we can't pull a gold card, all they ask for, back-to-back -back EXs. Because this is two sets in one. So you got a potential to pull two EXs in the one booster. I'm not even kidding. Sea Waddle, a Pimplop. Reverse Tepig. Regular Rare Toxic Rook, and then a full up Mew EX, dude, I love this set so much, oh, yo, I forgot this car was even in it, dude, oh, that's so sick, look at it, oh, it's totally worth it, guys, do you want to, if this video gets 5,000 likes or more, I'm going to buy a booster box of legendary treasures, yo, this set is awesome, a full up Mew EX out of the RC set, which is the second set in the series, Alright, put this mule at the back. God, that's a good looking card. Damn! Oh, that is so cool! I love that! Do you guys as well or what? Alright. Let's crack this one open. And let's go for the gold card. Everyone, I know how tense it is. I think you're gonna stop shaking because I feel the shake over here. But we got a Teddy Ursa. A Shuckle drinking his watermelon juice. We got a Gabite. Oshawa gone for a ride. Minchino. A Sea Waddle. Magikarp Galore. Reverse Minchino, and then Meloetta Regular Rare, followed by a regular Gardevoir Reverse. Oh, that's alright. At least we pulled the Mewtwo or the Mew uh, EX. It's not the end of the world. Damn, I literally thought there was a good possibility we were going to pull the gold card there. But you know what? That's completely fine. We got two holy cards right here, which was a Tail and Flame, a Marchamp. Then we go and pull a full on Mew EX, as well as getting this sealed like. Uh, what was it called again? Mystic Typhlosion theme deck. Not a bad day at the office. You know what? I'll, I'll kind of rate that. What do you guys think? Do you rate the old star power box? Was it something you'd get? Or do you prefer the mystery power boxes? Or do you prefer to buy the cards individually and buy the theme deck individually? Really curious to see what you guys think. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know. But guys, stay tuned to the channel. We've got so many more epic openings coming up. And uh, yeah, if this gets 5,000 likes... I'm going to buy a Legendary Treasures Booster Box. So make sure you demolish the like button as well. Most of all though, have a fantastic day. Most of all, going to keep on gaming. Alright guys, next episode, I'll see you then! Pfft.